Today on Jeff Does What, we're going to be unboxing and just running through some of the steps of the new Satwa E6 Pro 6 wide diode. What up, y'all? The Jeff Wilson. And today on Jeff Does What, we have the Satwa diode laser. Now this laser right here is the E6 Pro. We're gonna get everything all unboxed for y'all today and run a few tests with it to see how this laser stacks up amongst a lot of the others. Now this thing is nicely packed off in here. Lots of parts. I'm seeing airline, air pumps, which is always great on a diode laser or any laser in general, just to have that air pushing through. And apparently there is not much to put together on this. It is already together for the most part. So we're not gonna have to sit here and fight belts or anything like that. So let me get the laser installed on here and we'll look more into this Wata E6 Pro. Now as you see, the Wata E6 Pro is a nice little form. We got our Wi-Fi, everything is all built in. Real simple, as a whole six screws is all we had to do to this, along with one cable and airline. But it is a nice, compact, easy to set up diode laser. Now just out of the box, like I said, it's real simple and easy to set up. The only thing I see that I don't like is a setup block. All we have is a small piece of clear acrylic, which can get easily lost. It's so easy for them to put something on these lasers to set your depth of what you need. All manufacturers, please stop doing this. That's my only complaint I have so far with this, but it's time to really get off into the test and see how well this laser will do some cutting and engraving. Now with this, we are using light burn on here. It will use other programs, but since y'all know, light burn's my go-to program, so it's always gonna be the first program I reach for. Now we're going to engrave on here is the owl image that y'all have seen me engrave quite a few times on there. We are just doing this because this is a little five to six watt diode on here. So it's just, it's not powerful where you're going to sit here and cut a two by four with it. This right here is so you can get that nice, clean, crisp detail on whatever you are engraving. So let's get to work on that. All right, y'all, I actually stopped this, realizing my settings aren't just right. Now, it's, it is getting some nice detail, but I am slowing my speed down a little bit and going to bump up the power a little bit on there. I know I need to actually go through and test this to see what percentage and everything I need to do, because even though this manual is nice and thick, it gives you no settings, and most machines don't. Like I said, this nice good thick manual but tons of different languages in there which isn't really showing you too much on what this can do it's just basically telling you the basic way to set this up so i'm gonna go through change some of the settings on here and get this where it's going a little bit more power to hopefully 
bring in a lot more detail. It is looking good already, but I know it can do better, and we're going to make that happen. <laughs> When I say these five and six watts are meant for detail, that's what you get out of these things. Real nice, good high-end detail. I can see everything on this owl, all the small detail on the flowers around it. It just nice, clean, crisp image. And when I'm running a five watt or six watt diode, that's what I'm going to go for, is this nice, clean, high, detailed work. As you saw, nice, clean detail. I mean, you can really make out some of that small stuff on the branches, all the grass and everything that's all off in there. The house, the stuff in the window, a nice, clean, crisp image. And with five watts, six watts, that's what you're gonna get. Especially if you, once you have it set up right, like I said, it did take me a second on playing around with it, but it's any laser. You got to learn the laser before anything. I, myself, I just jump right into it way too often instead of sitting down and doing what I should do. And w once you get dialed in, so nice. Now, this last project I'm going to show for y'all, this right here is for the people that are really crafty and like custom apparel, 
but they don't have the screen print or the direct film or direct garment or sublimation. But you got a laser and you got some paint brushes. Now, I won't be doing the second part, but I'm going to show you something to help you out on your outcome. Now, what we have here is a Gildan G5000 t-shirt. Now, all I'm doing is going through and making an outline of what I want on the shirt. And say so we can come back in with some paint or anything like that. We can brush whatever on what we're wanting to do with this. Like I said, it's a real simple, easy way to just make a custom one-off shirt fairly easy. Now, if we wanted to, we can sit there and engrave full images where we can have something like that on there as well. Now, it can be a little tricky on there because sometimes this cotton does not like to take stuff like that. But you just, once you get your settings right, all will be pretty good. Like I said, and we're just getting a nice black outline on here to give us good clean lines to go off of later whenever someone wanted to paint this. Now, me personally, I'm not the one to do that. If I'm going to do something, I'm going to fire up my direct to uh, film and heat press something on there just because it's quicker and easier for me. But for the crafter that wants something and doesn't have the money for the direct to garment, direct to film, screen print, anything like that, this right here is a great easy way to achieve something else just like that. We're going to let it do its thing and be right back with y'all. this we got a nice outline that you can go through and paint i did get a little too hot in this one corner for some reason i think it's just the shirt itself that's bound to happen from time to time now if you're doing applique with embroidery where you need custom letters cut out that right there makes stuff extremely easy to do and your makes your applique for embroidery that much better because you're able to cut it exactly how you need to do right before you put it on the embroidery machine and a whole lot faster than sitting there trying to trim it with scissors. But that's for all the embroidery people out there. They know what I'm talking about on that because I've myself, I've been doing embroidery for heck over 10 years now. And it, it was my primary source of income for many years when I owned 712 apparel and I wish I would have had something like that back then because it would have saved me a whole lot of time. Now, this laser, I highly recommend it for someone beginning getting into laser engraving. It is so simple out of the box. We had a whole six screws to put on, four to hold the plate on, and two to hold the diode laser on. And like I so said, with this being a... And I want to drop stuff. With this being a six watt diode, you're able to get great outcome, high resolution images with minimum effort on there. Like I said, we didn't go through and just spend hours setting this thing up. I mean, within 15 minutes of me playing with the settings, I was able to go through and get dialed in pretty close to where it should be. And but also, that's me having several years of experience with lasers, but someone out of the box just jumping right in should have no issues with this thing. Now, I do have a link in the description for this laser. I'm not an affiliate. I just like testing out lasers and seeing what all's on the market because there's no telling what's out there and what all you can find to make someone else's life easier. And that's what we're here for. And if you're wanting to learn more on lasers, see more and more projects, hit that subscribe button, share this video around, 
it helps me out tremendously. Now, if you really want to help me out, hit that super thanks, and that helps me out the best as far as that goes. Now, if you're wanting to see more on this Twa E6 Pro, comment down in the description. Let me know what you want me to make with this laser. And until next time, y'all take it easy. Also, thanks to all y'all who have subscribed on this channel and has helped me out. Thanks to y'all. I now have this nice Sony 4K camcorder. So hopefully it helps out on our video quality and some of the audio issues I've been having. Thank y'all so much.